This is Ashton's third visit to Cairo since Morsi was ousted. It was full of meetings, but no breakthroughs. The EU and the Muslim Brotherhood members say they agreed to keep foreign powers out of the political conflict in Egypt. It's very important for everyone to understand that I don't come here to interfere or to mediate. There are no initiatives from the EU. We have expressed our rejection on any foreign influence on the situation in Egypt. Many criticized us for these meetings, saying they don't make any difference, but it would be impolite for us to reject the invitation. But some analysts are not convinced. They insist the mediation and talks on the solution were inevitable. An important part of the EU meeting is to try to convince the Muslim Brotherhood to join the political transition. The reason Catherine Ashton is here is because the EU is readjusting their position to the new transition in Egypt. They want to guarantee that Egypt is moving towards the democracy they want, to have new calibers rise to the scene that will guarantee EU's existence in the region. Ashton met the president, the grand imam of Al-Azhar, the Coptic Pope and many politicians. But her meeting with the defense minister, Abdel Fattah Sisi, was the longest of all. And regarding the calls from some Egyptians for Sisi to run for president, Ashton showed no objection at all. It's up to individuals to decide if they're going to be candidates in the election or not. Egyptian people will decide uh, if they want to be candidates and people will decide who they vote for. Catherine Ashton's visit didn't make any difference in the ongoing Egyptian conflict. It only showed that Europe stands at equal distances from all sects, preserving its interest with whoever wins the next elections. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.